Good morning, girls of Grade Seven. Today we will be continuing Chapter Two of Formulas and Functions in Excel. In the previous class, we did how to apply simple formula, how to apply compound formula, and how to apply formula on a text. Today we will be learning the concept of range, cell referencing, that is absolute reference. relative reference and mixed reference some functions error and some common functions that are used in excel so let's begin so now to open excel start type here excel this green one excel 2007 first we will enter certain data suppose january 1000 february See tab key to move, as I told you earlier. Okay, March it is two nine double zero. April, suppose it is hundred. May one thousand and June. Okay, and June it is five hundred. So what we did. in a previous class when we have to apply addition we selected each of these cells one by one now how will we do this using range we'll put equal to sign here on a formula box click on the cell from where you want to start getting the sum of this and then press f8 key and click on the last cell see all of these are selected what do you want to do in this you have to apply sum function so you will write here after equal to sum function and braces okay and the range enter 7500 can you see this how i did with this range select the first range press f8 key and then the last cell till you want to select for the addition and this is known as selecting a range in excel this is how you can select the range in excel fine now how can you name certain range fine so this i told you how you will work with range select the first where you want an answer suppose this is your net sales okay and this is the cell where you want total of 6 months to appear on the formula bar you will put equal to sign you want to perform addition so you write this sum bracket open select the first cell press f8 key and the last cell till you want the addition it will appear see b1 is to b6 is there close the bracket and you will get addition of the number now if the sub you want to name this range so that it can you, you can use this later what you will do is go to the formula tab in this define name you can see this define name option click here on define name a new name will come you can name it like net sales where do you want this net sales to appear in workbook sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 wherever if workbook means in all the sheet if you will type net sales it will give you addition of the sales then okay fine so now the when you will click here to see the functions you can see net sales will also appear this is how you can name the range in a sales fine so it is easy now if you want to use in formula simply you can use it to use it in net sales here and enter you will get the number fine so wherever you want you can use this so from where formula in this define names group you find this define name and use in formula now the next thing is we will be starting with reference okay so the first one is relative reference suppose the numbers are 10 20 30 40 and 100 okay and 50 you want this addition to be applied here the same thing that appeared here this formula you want this formula in this d8 cell also what will you do click on d8 right click and copy this okay now go on this cell that is d8 right click and paste it here 
okay now you will see that this it was b1 till b6 now it is changed from d1 to d6 and when you will press enter you will get the total of these cells okay so the formula is changing if you will click here it is b1 to b6 you have just copied and pasted here the formula is now d1 to d6 means the addresses have changed so this is your relative reference fine now the next one is your absolute reference we are studying absolute reference so in absolute reference the cell address is not changed and we make use of dollar so what you go in this e11 cell here in e11 you just have to type the 10 percent like this fine now click on the cell d2 this is your d2 click here now type the equal to b2 fine multiply by dollar use dollar sign for this e dollar 11 fine so okay this will appear press enter you can see this okay so now the value 100 is displayed the first cell address has no dollar sign so it is relative reference and the second cell address is absolute therefore when the cell co content is copied the first one will change the reference in new location but second will remain as e11 only now you can copy this you can just take your mouse cursor here it will change into plus sign and you can simply drag this and the for this formula will be applied on all the cells can you see this like this so this is your absolute reference now what is the next reference for next reference go to e12 cell in e12 just type the 100 fine now click on e2 cell this is e2 okay so now this e2 cell you just have to type this formula equal to now it is mixed reference so dollar okay c2 minus e dollar cell and enter so it will make calculation for actual expenses like this fine so these are mixed reference absolute reference and your relative reference now how we will be studying certain errors that you will encounter while using excel the first is this hash 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 this error will, you will often come across if the it values that the the cell does not have enough space to so store the value then you will find this error the next error that you will for encounter is your hash and like this hash name and question mark find this so what is this error means it means that the formula that you have applied is incorrect it is not used correctly if the formula is not used correctly you will find this error hash name and a question mark if you will find this error hash and value and this explain excla exclamation sign it shows that the values okay or the data value for the formula is incorrect if you find the error like hash reference what does this means with this explanation sign it says that the reference or the cell that you are using okay for the formula is not there okay if you have deleted a certain cell and you are using that cell in a formula you will encounter this error hash reference exclamation sign if you encounter error like hash div divided by 0 so if you want if you are performing some division with 0 you will come across this error okay hash 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 okay if the value exceed the size hash name invalid formula you are using invalid data you are entering in a formula if the cell is deleting and you are using that in your formula and if you are trying to divide a number by 0 so these are certain errors that you will encounter while using excel
we will be studying now certain functions that are used in excel so in functions okay there are two terms arguments and values okay so when you want to perform a formula the data that you give is known as your arguments and the result that you obtain after applying that formula is your value fine so students now we will be discussing formulas in excel so suppose this is the data that i entered now go to home tab in editing group you will see this auto sum function and there is this arrow when you will click this you can find certain functions written there select the sum function okay and it will give the range automatically that it is a1 to a5 if you will press you will get the sum fine the other function here is average so you can click on the average and it will give average of these number the other function here is count numbers it will count number of records and it will give the next function in this auto sum is maximum it will give the maximum value that is 149 in this cell and if you take minimum it will give the smallest value in that cell fine the other functions if you will click on this more functions option you will see other functions also okay that you can use but you should know how to use these functions first okay this sum function maximum minimum count numbers average now students there are other functions also okay and suppose how can you insert a formula go on this insert tab you can see here this insert function this fx1 the shortcut key for this is shift f3 press on this here you can insert function dialog box will appear here you can type the function that you want to look for even there are categories also if you want to use text function you just click here you will see only text functions there if you want to use logical functions click here only logical functions will appear if you want to see date and time function date and time functions will appear if you want to see most recently used function then you can use this fine these are the set of functions you can select any functions and just click on okay then it will ask for the number 1 that you want to add which is the number 1 suppose this is so i will just click here on a1 and the number 2 i want to uh, suppose in number 1 i selected this a2 cell now in number 2 i want this now if i want to enter more numbers i can simply click and i can give the address of the numbers okay once i am done i'll just click is equal to and it will perform additions and the result will be here in front of you fine so like this you can use insert functions okay as well and from the home also we have done in editing this auto sum there are functions that are maximum use of maximum use you can even rename these worksheets if you want to rename this sheet 1 just click on this right click and there will be an option rename from here you can rename this suppose this is my result worksheet okay the second worksheet is for my fees so i can click the right click rename and i can give the name suppose fees so like this you can rename your worksheets as well and if you want to delete suppose i don't want this sheet 3 i can simply right click and there is an option delete like this i can delete my worksheets fine so this is what is there in your this chapter 2 in excel so i will be providing you question and answers please please practice this in case you have any doubt let me know fine